Welcome to Bob Larson Live. Tonight, you've not seen me do anything like this before. Get yourself ready. Now, most of the time here on Bob Larson Live, we have episodes of what we call I Have a Demon. And if you'd like to be on I Have a Demon, contact us right away and let us know why you think you have demons. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we'll be happy to talk with you. We do live exorcisms right here, week after week. We have someone tonight who really needs a live exorcism. Although I don't think he thinks he has demons. James Mason. He may be the most dangerous man in America you never heard of. His allegiance to Nazism and white supremacy is no headline-grabbing political ploy. He's a real, real deal when it comes to adoration of Adolf Hitler. Worst of all, he mixes it with Christianity. I just spent a little time today reading one of his books. <laughs> it's Mein Kampf Christianity, Mein Kampf the Old Testament, Mein Kampf the New Testament. Adolf Hitler, the prophet of God. You don't want to miss this epic battle between reason and racism and good and evil. So like and share right away so you can reach more, all right? Let everybody you know to be watching tonight because this will be a truly epic battle. And subscribe and hit that notification bell because you never know what we're going to be doing <clears throat> and when we're going to be doing it. But if you hit the notification bell, you will then be subscribed and you'll be able to know immediately when something new is happening. Now, let me tell you a couple of things coming up right away. On Friday at 10 Pacific, 1 Eastern, our bi-weekly edition of Ask the Exorcist. And I'm going to be taking your questions live about Demons and the devil, Satan and the supernatural, the paranormal, the occult, whatever it is that you've experienced or whatever it is you're interested in knowing about, that's this coming Friday on a live edition of Ask the Exorcist. And then this is the big weekend. Sunday, I will be in Pasco, Washington at Hungry Gen Church with our good friend Pastor Vlad. If you're anywhere in the Pacific Northwest, plane, train, automobile, get there, okay? We're going to be live streaming as well at 1130 Pacific this coming Sunday. That's the Hungry Gen Church, Pasco, Washington, this coming weekend. You don't want to miss that. And we've got some seminars coming up after the first of the year, live and in person, that I want to tell you about. And of course, it's now only the second day of December. Well, guess what? Brand new members-only channel videos. We're up now to what? Can you believe it? For you, at the highest commander level, you got this? 90 videos. 90 videos are posted there. So whether you decide to join in with us as a soldier, as a sword bearer, or as a commander, you're going to have a lot of fascinating information that simply cannot come anywhere else. Now, I want to say a word about chats. We are looking forward to chats tonight, all right? I want to give you the rules because we got a lot of you guys trolling out there. So that's all right. That's fine. But we want some serious questions about the ideology of Mr. James Mason. First of all, no profanity, no slang words. You know what I mean? No N words, K words, that sort of thing. Off limits. But we do want to hear your exchange, whether it's combative. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to agree with him. If you have something to say, Say it. Get started right now. I'll jump into the chats right away. But no hate words, no hate statements, and no advocacy of violence of any kind. No abusive language. Combative? Okay. Agree? Okay. With him? With me? Whatever. We'll hear from you. We'll get to as many chats as we possibly can tonight. But 
I do want to emphasize we're going to keep an eye on what you say because some of you are going to have a tendency, I already see you out there trolling in the chats, to take this thing to a place we're not going to take it. We're going to have as much of a reasoned, if that's possible, discussion between the two of us. So please join us in the chats. And Facebook, TikTok, come on, man, what are you waiting on? Unless you just jumped in on the situation here. My guest, James Mason, tonight, I call him the most dangerous man in America and maybe the most dangerous man in America you never heard of, although a lot of you have heard of him. Neo-Nazi white supremacist. Why is he on tonight? Why am I doing that? Why am I not here casting out demons? Hey, you want somebody who's got demons? You're about to meet him. Whether or not he gets an exorcism or not, I don't know. But watch us. Come on over to our Bob Larson YouTube exorcism channel and join us and join that conversations. So look, you got to stop trolling, okay? Because it's not letting other people get in who want to ask the question. Stop it, stop it, stop it. No more trolling out there. You're just wasting everybody's time. You may think you're really cool with what you're saying, but the truth is not much of anybody really cares. All right, so look, stop the trolling, knock it off. You're talking back and forth to each other. It's just like you got this community. You're suddenly together, you know, with all your buds tonight on Bob Larson Live. And, and, but that's not the point of the show. The point of the show is to talk to James Mason. The point of the show is for you to ask him a question. So I really want to encourage you to do that. Would you do that quickly tonight? And listen, if, if throughout this show tonight you – as a believing Christian, really appreciate this ministry. This is the time to show it. This is the time to let me know that you're behind a ministry that will have the guts to get out there in the marketplace of ideas, stand up for the Lord, fight the forces of darkness in whatever way they present themselves. And there's no more realistic way than National Socialism, the Nazis. All right? If you appreciate it, text a gift to this ministry. You can text a gift at 833-361-4711. They'll put the number up on the screen. 833-361-4711. Or you can go to boblarson.org and click on donate. boblarson.org and click on donate. Thank you for helping us. Now don't get so absorbed in what's going to be a pretty interesting show tonight, and forget that it is your gifts that make it possible for us to expose you to a world of spiritual reality that you're not going to see anywhere else, quite frankly. So, I know some of you are intentionally trolling out there, and uh, you're not letting other people get through with legitimate chats. So, we understand that, but that's really not fair to the rest of them, so knock it off, okay? This show is not about you tonight. It's about Mr. Mason and what he believes and where that stands in relationship to Christianity. Now, some of you are probably asking, why do I have the most outrageous neo-Nazi in America with me tonight? Why give him a chance to spout his evil rhetoric filled with racist and white supremacy tropes. Well, because this man is no political straw man created by Black Lives Matter or the Lincoln Project. He's for real. People like him are not a creation of CNN or MSNBC or Cuomo. What's his name who used to be on? <laughs> This guy's the real genuine article, and he actually believes what he said. Now, I first had James Mason on my radio show, Talk Back with Bob Larson, 28 years ago. Can that be possible? Yeah. He was outrageous then. I don't think he's mellowed with age. So, I'm having him on tonight to try to balance two issues. 
I'm going to give him the platform to tell us what he really believes. But I think we also need to understand the real ugly underbelly of neo-Nazi hate that percolates beneath the surface of our society and not this stuff that's being thrown around by the left primarily to create this idea that there is this white supremacist huge juggernaut in America and that it's in the Republican Party. This is not about Republicans, Democrats tonight. In fact, the neo-Nazi movement in America is very real. National Socialism, this thing's been around for decades, going about to George Lincoln Rockwell, founder of the Nazi Party in America. And, and so this stuff has always been here, reaching its tentacles out to grab the minds, especially of young people. Meanwhile, the Proud Boys and the Black Lives Matter people are out there marching. That's not the real threat. Most of all, I'm concerned about what is being said to hide behind a very perverted view of Christianity to justify these kinds of beliefs. So I want to give you a sample of the things he actually says. And this is taken from his own publications, all right? I photocopied some pages of his book. They're, they're not really physically in print at this particular time, unless you find one on eBay, but they are in PDF. So from his book, Siege, and he's got a couple of main books out there, Siege and the Theocrat. We're going to talk about these books. Let there be no talk of injustice, only war. You see the Nazi Wastika? By the way, that came from Hinduism. It's called Wastika, the swastika to the rest of you folks. Oh, and guess who he's a fan of? Charles Manson. Oh! And guess what's James Mason's favorite book in his library? The Satanic Bible, personally signed by Anton LaVey. This is what Anton LaVey, the late Anton LaVey, the founder of the Church of Satan, says about James Mason. A man of courage and reason. <laughs> A rare combination. You know, there's the old line, beware when... All men speak well of you. Beware if Anton LaVey speaking well of you. Here's another one. And then this is taken right from his book. You know, he, he's got some of these uh, pictures in there. The future belongs to the few of us still willing to get our hands dirty. Political terror, it's the only thing they understand. There's more. <sighs> Stephen, thank you for the gift of $10. Jackie, thank you. $10 the same. Audi, thank you for the gift of $5. HP Lovecraft? <laughs> Somebody's handle? I'm not sure you should have that one. Uh, but anyway, thank you for $5 in the Super Chat question. Uh, we, we've got a very interesting question coming up here. Thank you very much. But I want to go to James right now. Can we pull him up on the screen, please? James. Can't see him. Need him pulled up on the screen. All right. Welcome, James. It's been a long time no see, although I had, I think I've seen you on the Dr. Phil show and a few other sources. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm still very much alive and well. As Mark Twain said, the stories of my demise have been greatly de exaggerated. I guess yours as well. So you're still yes. you're still active in doing what you do, spewing hate oh, yes. all across the country, coast to coast, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, and proud of it. And proud of it, yes, indeed. You know, I, I, here's a question. What's your opinion? I'm not sure they got this right. Varg, Vikernes, and the Vicernus? Indo and, and, and the Vicernus? and the Indo-European paganism in general. So. You know that Hitler was into that. You know that he was a Nordic ideologue of, of paganism and that there were all these secret ceremonies going on in the Third Reich of worshiping now, now, Odin and Thor. Now, you know that, don't yeah, you? I know, I, I know the dead opposite, and I, I know the men who knew him best said he was the most Christian man they ever had met. Hitler? Yes, what is your definition of a Christian man? 
He's, uh, he slaughters six million people. And well, he's that's a, a lie. It's that's a lie. been demonstrated. That's been demonstrated to be a lie. By whom? By anybody and everybody. How about the International Red Cross? How about these liars themselves? You know, if you even in many countries, if you even question that, you go to jail. You know, the truth has nothing to fear. Now, wait a minute. I, I've but been the to lies, the I, lies I, have I've, a great deal to fear. I've been to Dachau. No, I've been you know to the you, you know the sign this above. Auschwitz. All right, mach frei. Work yeah, makes you, make you work free. makes you work free. Will make you free. And these were labor camps, not death camps. And there were no gas chambers. That's been disproven. I've seen them. Lie. I've seen them. I've seen the crematoriums. Well, I've, I've seen. I've seen what were what were. Uh, 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 <laughs> I've I've seen four ovens at Auschwitz. Four ovens, and if that's how they were disposing of the bodies, they'd have to still be doing it today. Wait a minute. We have the, the we have the pictures. We have the pictures of the open trenches and the bodies yes, of the Jews piled as they have been yes. slaughtered by machine guns. No, 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 no. You have pictures of dead bodies, and all these dead bodies came about within the last ninety days of the Second World War due to Allied disruption of all rail and transport. These people couldn't be fed. The people of Germany themselves couldn't be fed. Okay, wait, so wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Let's go back to Dachau. The gas ovens are there. They never claimed there were any ovens. Well, the crematoria. You're going to have people die in these places, and the best way to deal with the dead bodies is to cremate them. And the showers? No, no, no. The, the showers, showers were where showers. people were thinking that they were cleansing themselves after being herded in, after being herded into cattle cars like animals and then being led to a shower where they're gassed. No, that's been disproved. That's a lie. See, but but all you that's all you can do is say disprove, 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 disprove. So yeah, this, disprove. this this cabal that has created this myth of the Holocaust, how did yes. that conspiracy happen? Oh the Jews, the Jews, right? Happen? The, the well, Jews the created Jews. that? Yes, the Jews created that. It's a big moneymaker. It's a moneymaker. And they want to criminalize their opponents, and that's the best way to do it, and they did it. All right, let's get back to the question that was posed a moment ago, which was a legitimate question. We got off on the Nordic thing. What about it? No, Hitler was a Christian man. He was a Christian man. Absolutely. You know, you held up my book, The Theocrat. I assume you've read it, or at least browsed it. Yes, very much so. Yes. And, and, what, I, you do, and what you do in this book, sir, is you quote Mein Kampf, the Bible, Mein Kampf, the Bible, Mein Kampf, the Bible. Yes. And you equate, equate what Hitler said with the teachings of Scripture. That is. You bet I do. That's you bet outrageous. I do. It works. It works. What do you mean it works? It's how the, can, how same, can you take the, the same mind? It's the same spirit behind both books. Well, what is the spirit then you say is behind the Bible? It's not the spirit no. of murder and slaughter and genocide and hate. You know, Bob, 23 years ago, 28 years ago, whatever it's been, you were throwing this stuff at me like, you know, the children of Abraham are blessed of God and those who bless them shall be blessed. Those who curse them shall be cursed. You know, you're not supposed to ever stop learning in this life. And it's been almost 30 years since we spoke last, and I've learned a great deal. What have you learned? And I have learned I have learned that those chosen people of the Bible were not these Jews as we know them today. They were ourselves, the white European races of the world. We are God's chosen people. And the enemy of all of God's creation are these people we know today as Jews. Oh, wait a minute. So that means wait a minute, wait a minute, the struggle. Wait a How Go ahead. You, yeah. As I said a moment ago, you're very bold and upfront about your relationship to Anton LaVey. He calls you a man of courage and reason. Now, well, I hope so. I who, try who to wants, be. Who wants to have the endorsement of the 
head of the Church of Satan, and this is a, a this is an autographed copy of the Satanic Bible. Yes. Do you believe in the Satanic Bible? No, no, because uh, Anton uh, was he was Jewish for one thing. He was a very smart man. Um, I I saw certain parallels between Anton and George Lincoln Rockwell. They were both showmen. Okay. Well, that's true. Now, for the point, I said a moment ago, George Lincoln Rockwell, who, you're who's going to get your point across, you have to be some kind of a showman. But uh, Anton's thing was primarily a sex club. Okay. But he had a lot of things to say that were true, that were profound, you know. And he was a Satanist. Was... He was a Satanist. He yeah, had you know, he Satan, had ceremonies with nudes on altars. Yeah, I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a he was a sex club. It was a sex club, and I have gone on to realize that Satan is only allegorical for Jews, and that's in the Bible. Well, wait, no, wait a minute. There's nothing allegorical in the temptation in the wilderness. Jesus Christ personally face the devil. The only way you get around that is to say that this book is a lie, it is totally allegorical, and you can read into it what you want to read into it, rather than proper biblical exegesis to say it literally means he faced the devil in the wilderness. Don't you believe in the devil? But who witnessed that? Who witnessed that confrontation? The Holy Spirit, who inspired Scripture. Okay, right, the Holy Spirit. Okay, Bob, and here's the thing that makes me, you know, it's one of the big differences between me and you. I'm still not religious, and the reason I'm not religious is because I don't believe in a supernatural. I believe in a higher level of physics that we have yet to figure out. Well, then why, do you, is, why, do, why do you put a cross on the front of the book? Why? Why do you well, call it the theocrat? The oh, the cross, oh, that's the murder weapon used by the Jews to murder Jesus. That's why I use that, and he did rise from that cross, but it was nothing supernatural. It was higher physics that we just haven't yet understood. Well, you know how to pick your friends. So Anton LaVey's your friend, and then he's Anton, not— Anton he, Anton left us some years ago. He's not—he is not, he is not he your friend, only so. friend. Now, come on, let's, let's get it straight here. You and Charlie Manson, you're an admirer of him. Well, Charlie left us some years ago as well. Now, Charlie was a true prophet, a true prophet, and as far as we are concerned, he's as alive today as he ever was before. In you. I, you know, no, I don't doubt. You know what? I don't no, doubt. Not just in me. No, 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 oh, no, no. You not, not only have me. demons. I think, you got, I think you got a soul part of Charlie Manson in you that's driving your ideology. He was a murderer. He was convicted of the Tate LaBianca murders. Oh, he you know, was how an much insane. Faith? See, you just hey, love him. Bob, you love him hey, because he caught. Hey, Bob, how much faith do you put in this crappy judicial system we have here today? It's garbage. Look, he carved a swastika into his forehead. That's that's the you know love you have that? for Charlie Matson. Do you know why he did that, Bob? Why? Because the left, the hippies, and the Jews were trying to claim him as one of their own right after when those trials began. And he understood that you can't try to explain anything to this crappy media. And so he knew the only way to dispel all that was to carve that swastika into his forehead. That cleared up the argument. You're telling me he did not send his cult to the Tate and LaBianca homes to murder people, to start a racial revolution by smearing blood on the walls with epithets about the police, to create a race war because he believed Helter Skelter was the Beatles telepathically telling, telling him to start that war. Now, you know the story, sir. Do you? I know the story. Oh, do you yes, believe, do you story. believe that? as was created by Vincent Bugliosi, the prosecutor, oh. with, the help of some, with the help of some ghostwriter. It's coming out more and more, Bob, if you, if you live long enough and you study hard enough, the truth does emerge. James, you got a, it, you've got a trap door for everything. <clears throat> you, you've got an escape route for everything you say, but no, you don't, don't have, have the substantiation <laughs> for it. I got the truth, Bob, I got the truth. That's not an escape. Is this the but truth? Somebody's that... coming out 
it's coming out. Most of this stuff was the brainchild of Tex Watson. And it wasn't done. Who became a born a, who became a born again Christian? What? Who? Oh, well, Tex yeah. Watson did any? Oh, well, no, he's trying to kiss the you know what of you know who to try to get himself out of his prison. <clears> that's all. That's all that is. That means nothing. this is this is what and this is one of and, and and I did read the text of your book, but this, you know it's interesting to see the artwork that you included. The future belongs to those of us who still want to get our hands dirty. Political terror is the only thing they understand. Are you advocating the violence of political terror? Are you? I don't. I don't advocate it. I acknowledge the reality of it. So are you because for the list, are you unless, are you for the violent overthrow of the American government and replacing it with a national socialist Nazi government? Is that what you want? It would be wonderful <clears throat> if we could have a decent government that is in support of the people. It would be wonderful. And uh, well, I th- means, wait a minute, wait a minute, means it James, all. It James, means James, it James, all James, of achieving that, it James. Means it all. Of achieving that, I'm not, I would be in favor of. I'm not letting Leviathan slither around here like a snake, and you make those kind of statements. You're going to have to answer the question. Do well, I you just believe, answered your question. No, you didn't answer it. You dodged it. Do you want no, to I see? I said the, I'm all in favor. I'm all in favor of the violent overthrow of the government of America and the institution of a Nazi national socialist regime. Is that what you want? This country, this government, this alien enemy government of occupation is not going to permit anything to happen on a legalistic, orderly basis. And so therefore, so therefore, there's there's two alternatives here. We can lay down and die or we can resist and maybe live. All right. I want to take a question from Black Metal Follower. Thank you for the gift of five pounds. Here's my first question. Mr. Mason, what sort of virtues and virtues and values do you see useful from National Socialism? Breed true. Breed true to your race. That's the basis. As Hitler said, there's only one duty and only one right, and that is to keep the bloodline pure. And what what is that pure bloodline? What what color is that? that? Is it, not is that yellow, unpolluted. black, white? Is it Asian? Unpolluted. Is it Hispanic? Unpolluted. Is it cocaine? Unpolluted. Is it unpolluted, Bob? Unpolluted? Don't you understand that? It's no adulteration. You know, you got a glass of water here. You got a glass of coffee here. You put the coffee in the water, and you polluted it. You've adulterated. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is you? Is you, you surely have enough intelligence past your hate to understand that there is no such thing as racial purity left in the world in terms of your belief system. It doesn't well, exist. There has been, means there's been so much. Right it's, it's over with. We're done. If that's true, but it's not true because of this anti-white movement Wait all over the globe, <clears throat> that tells me that there is still- What is white? What is white? Tell me what white wrong. is. Tell me what white is, define it. How are you going to determine by skin pigmentation the worthiness of somebody to live freely? How are you everybody gonna determine that? Live. There's so everybody, many shades. Everybody should live freely. You should, you should be able to live as what you were born as. And over here in this country and in every white nation, at least every nation that used to be white, we are not permitted to live as we were born. Okay. They're pushing what they call they're pushing what they call a diversity. They want diversity. They want integration. They want everybody mixed up. They want total confusion. See, 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 you, and that you, is you know what you do. What you do is very James, what you do is very clever clever. You take some legitimate concerns that that conservative Christians have about the direction of the country and some political issues that seem as though we could identify with you, but you mix it with with this vitriolic hate and this either or, literal black or white kind of mentality that would, at the point of a gun, get rid of anybody who wasn't racially pure, but there's no way to determine that. 
You can't do it genetically. You can't get enough DNA tests to figure that out. And you don't even have a point of reference as to what that means. Is it European? Is it Scandinavian? Is it Scottish? Is it Irish? What is it? You don't even know what it is. All you know I, is if it doesn't look like you, you don't like it. I have people, young people coming up to me all the time saying that they don't know how white they really are. And what I say to them is this, if you have car loads of these black or Mexican gangs out to just kill whites, then you are in trouble. So but you're 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 a, you're, a, you're a gang. Listen, come on. No, that's you're enough. a gang of whites Why out to kill the others. Come on. What what gives you the right to be the pot and call the kettle black? Give me a break here. I want to take a question. A super well, chat how, from how many how, how how many times lately have you heard of carloads of whites? running around murdering colors. You know, I don't a, know. The, I, I don't brown. know. But a, but a jury, a jury of white people, a jury of white people just convicted three of them and sent them to prison for life. So there. They sure did. And that is the statement about how badly brainwashed and psychologically polluted these whites in this country have become. All right. Okay. I'll, 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 I, I want to get the. Okay. I want to get the audience involved here. Brew moment. Thank you for the super chat gift of ten dollars. Question, James. What is your opinion of the political polarization and radicalization that we're seeing today? What is it? It's great. Joseph Tomasi, an old friend of mine, said, "Heighten the contradictions." Joseph Tomasi was a hate monger. Let's get clarity. Let's don't have any confusion any longer. Step up and take your side. And Joseph Tomasi. We, this is Joseph Tomasi. Up. This is your hero. All right? Yes. Yeah. This is from your book. I mean, I, sir, I can look at those eyes. I'm an exorcist. That man has demons. He is full of demons. You can see it in every picture. But I want to quote him. This is your hero. Let's quote him. We do not wish for law and order, but... For law and order means the continuing existence of this rotten, rip-off, capitalist Jew system. We wish for anarchy and chaos which will enable us to attack the system and her big brother pigs, etc., etc., etc. There's your hero. Your hero. Yes. You know what? Yes. You know what? You need to get saved and make Jesus your hero and repent of your sins that. before yeah, you die and go to hell. I've already done that. When did you're you do? Late. When did you're you do? Late. When did done. when did you? You're you're not you're not a repentant sinner. You're a. Oh, I don't, I haven't committed any sins. I haven't committed. Why should I repent? I'm I'm right on track. What, you've never committed any sins. Oh, some garbage thing. Maybe when I was a kid. Perhaps, well, now wait a minute. Major you, you, we don't we don't want to get to ad hominem here, but you did spend some time behind bars. OK. Yeah. But hell, man, I mean, uh, look at John the Baptist. Didn't he do a little time behind bars? Look not 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 for do, not that. for doing what were you were alleged to have done. OK. Well, what was I alleged to have done? Tell me well, that. Apparently you were found guilty of sex with a minor and no, that I wasn't is found guilty bob i took a plea i took a plea to that to save my life and the minor well, what were you afraid who was going to kill you talking. you want to let me talk bob or you want to just go on I no, no go, go, go ahead go ahead tell me how old do they estimate mother mary was when she bore jesus what's the 14 or 15 years old I was with uh, young women of marriageable age. Marriageable age, Bob. Marriageable age. And believe me, uh, at the age of 70. Where? Where? In the, in the regime of the I Taliban? Would. Pardon? In the regime of the Taliban? Yeah, they go for marriageable age about that. Yeah, but I'm asking you, how old was Mother Mary when she bore Jesus? Okay, all right. Well, we can talk yeah, about the cultural cross-reference here. All right. I want to, I, I want to bring in the chess. The Liberator, whoever that is, uh, says, ask him about the order of the nine angels. But you and I know what that's all about. I've heard of that. I've heard of that. They're pretty extreme, pretty right wing, pretty racialist. <laughs> Wait uh, a minute. You're calling somebody else extreme funny. and right wing? 
Yeah. Well, okay, you tell me. You tell me that. Well, well I, I'm just saying, who is any more extreme than you, sir? Nobody, I hope. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Next question. Who is, the, this person has been members only for four months at the commander level. Heidi, you got 90 new videos to watch. My question, who is the strong man in the kingdom of evil? Odin, Thor, Loki, Combo, well, actually, uh, it is Odin, but Thor works with him and Loki, and they are a, an interesting triumvirate. Do you you give any um, credence to those old Nordic gods? Because you know that's what was behind Hitler's ideology. No, 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 no. Um, if you read the uh, Norse sagas as they were collected in the 11th century, Odin was a real individual and they credit him as having come out of Egypt about like Moses had done some centuries later and he wound up in Scandinavia and so uh, you know what he had to say was in no way contradictory to Christianity it's just that Christianity what? was a later revelation what they committed incest rape pillage murder they're your kind of people James <laughs> Maybe so, Bob. I don't know. But, well, look, but anyway, let's 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 let your book speak for itself. Back to siege. It says your time is up. All right. These are these are pages I photocopied from your book. All right. Got to get my readers on to make sure. Your time is up. Willing, active participants in formulating or implementing anti-white policies which have brought racial disaster. These acts constitute high treason. The penalty is death by hanging. The revolutionary government of the United States. These are not just a bunch of ill-advised people trying to storm the Capitol on the 6th of January. These are people that you are encouraging who are violent ideologues who, if they got into power, would hang anybody who posed them. And that includes God-fearing Christians. You want well, you to know, kill us? Is that what you want to do? You want to get us out of the way? The last time we spoke was nearly 30 years ago. Haven't you been able to detect the downhill slide this country has taken since that time? Absolutely. And what, Absolutely. And, and, that, and that's the problem. That's you see, you, you slip think? in these you slip in these little bits of reason and sense into your ideology. Well, I, try talk, I try to talk reason and sense. Yes, I do. But what do you think it would take to clean this country up? Do you think it would take prayers and candles and teddy bears, or would it take some killing? Don't kill it. Whoa, kill it. And you got it's not it's not killing. It's who's doing the killing and who's getting killed. Did I did did I detect a manifestation of spirit of murder in you when you said that? Wow. You might have, and it wouldn't be murder anyway because it would be fully justified. By who? By this new national By socialist God government? Huh? By God himself. God. He said, I, wait a minute. He said, I am holy. I want you to be holy as well. And what does holy mean? But separate. Separate from these other colored races. All right. Okay. All right. In your book, one of your her heroes, Goebbels, propaganda minister of Hitler, you quote him. We shall reach our goal when we have the power to laugh as we destroy, as we smash whatever was sacred in tradition, as education and as human affection. That almost takes my breath away. I mean, it literally almost takes my breath away to well, quote, Bob, to quote, you, a, you, to quote a murderer like Goebbels. They never murdered anybody. Don't you see the kind of filth and pollution that's being put forth in these universities and on this media, for God's sake? No, Don't wait a minute. There you go again. There you Stop. go again. Speaking reasonably about, reasonably, Bob, about the leftist the ideology in, in the public I institutions. Stay reasonable. You can go off the wall as much as you want. 
see, this is what you tap into. And this is what you tap into, the disaffection of people who see what's going on today with all this critical race theory stuff and the dividing of people and trying to, to get us into diversity camps one against another rather than making the progress that we have been making since Martin Luther King Jr. Whoops, wait have a minute, made, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, wait, have, wait a minute. Made, you don't like him either, do you? Have we made progress? You're yes. Old, you yes. How yes. It was yes. Ago. Yes. Have we we don't. We progress? yes. We don't have colors are, only are we, sections in the buses. Are we sinking into hell? And I say we're sinking into hell. You know, you you don't address the issues, James. You just well, it is the issue. You 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 it's confusion. It's I, racial confusion. You know, we had a guy on this show some months back, who was a former neo-Nazi like you. And he had a sole part of Hitler in his mind that manifested and spoke to me in German. That happened right here. People saw it. I think you got part of Hitler living inside you, and you're proud of it. God, I hope so. Man, I hope so. Okay, let's, let's move on to another quote here. I mean, this is from your book, okay? Oh, your friend, Joseph, that we talked about a moment ago. Pray for victory, not an end to the slaughter. George Lincoln Rockwell, smash it, crush it, kill it. Now, is this just rhetoric? Is this just a way to get people's attention to have a platform by extremism? No, you believe it. No, you believe not it. at all. Not at all, Bob. God, God says, uh, hate the evil, kill the evil. No, 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 he doesn't say to kill it. He says, well, hate he that say? which make, is, wait a minute, you're, Mr. You're, 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 it says, hate the evil and cleave or hold on to or be bonded to that which is good. So you, yeah. you, you, you want to lay the claim to hating the evil, but you don't bond with that which is good, which is oh, love, sure which is, I which bond, is forgiveness, which my is own, my own people, my own white race, my own culture. What about love, peace? Oh, long I love what what, what about living. love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, yeah, temperance? Do you do you I've even long, know what I just quoted? That's yeah, what the Bible been, calls been, the I've fruits of the spirit. I've been long suffering since the last time we spoke almost thirty years ago. All right. Another one of your heroes, John Hinckley, shot President Reagan. You have pictures in your book. Well, there's, there's one of the pictures you have of him holding a gun with Hitler behind him. You have other pictures of him wearing shirts with the swastika on, advocating white power. Was John Hinckley one of you? No, I wouldn't say that he was. You know, what we say is that Hitler represents the threshold of anger and that Charles Manson represents the threshold of alienation. And I believe that Hinckley was both angry and alienated. And if you put those two together, it's a powerful force. Uh, we got a gentleman here, Monkey King of the Jungle. These people have interesting t uh, handles here. Thank you for the gift of $5. Ask him about Roy Black and the Patriot Imperium. What about it? Never heard of him. <clears throat> Never heard of him. All right. Never heard of him. Well, Altus says, Mr. Mason, what is your opinion of Iron Gates, Liber 333, and 09A literature in general? You heard of that? Iron Gate. Have we, is that? Is that uh, Swiss's book. Oh, yeah. Well, that uh, Iron Gate thing was created by an, uh, a known agent of the FBI, and it's the most violent and, and sexually perverted thing I've ever read. But this guy is now known to have been FBI. And oh, that's what okay, I think okay, of that. Okay. The Babylon Lion. Hello, Mr. Larson. I'd like to know what your view is on Arabic Bathist ideology. Also, on behalf of my friend, he wishes you well and glad to see you. So, uh, Bathist theology, we're talking now about Saddam Hussein and that version of uh, Islam, the Bathist party, and so on, that was. Uh, very ideologically pure in terms of Islam, but I'm not sure of what what that has to do with this. But I I I do want to ask you because you've got another interesting one. Serious question, Stu Trooper. That's kind of a German game, I guess. What is your opinion of Malcolm X and the Nation of Islam? 
Okay, Commander Rockwell was was oh, very, boy. very cordial with Malcolm X in the beginning. He had addressed a gathering of the Nation of Islam in Chicago in 1962. Hold, hold it, hold it. Just excuse me. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but George Lincoln Rockwell, founder of the Nazi Party, addressed the Nation of Islam. The only thing the two yeah. had in common was they both hate Jews. No, they were both racial separatists. Both racial separatists. But they both blame the Jews. Well, Malcolm it, it, X, it, it, Elijah Muhammad, because... the Nation of Islam, claims that the white people are demons, devils. Yeah. And, th yeah. And, 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 and that how they how these two people get together. Rockwell's because white. Want, because they want racial separatism. It's very easy. Everybody should be to themselves to their own laws, their own customs, their own culture. That's only natural. So if you were in power, would you ship everybody who is not absolutely Aryan out of the country? No, they can have their own territories in, <clears throat> in uh, North America. Oh. They can have their own territories. Apartheid. Apartheid, yes. Yeah. Well, again, again, God said, I am holy. You must be holy. It means separate. You you quote the Bible where you want to quote the Bible. That's what God said, man. That's what God said. But when I quote when I contrary? quote the fruits of the spirit, you don't want anything to do with the fruits of the spirit. If I talk to you about forgiveness and love and grace and mercy being extended by God even towards you, you know the scripture says he is not willing that any should perish. He is long suffering. He wants everybody, including James Mason, to come to repentance. Is there is there a chance, James? before your deathbed that you just might rethink this and say, if Jesus is the son of God, born of a virgin, whatever the age, and if he died for my sins and rose again from the dead, and if I have been lied to all these years, Jesus, forgive me. Any chance of that? No, there's no chance of that because Jesus didn't come to save me from my sins. He came to save me from the sins of my fathers who gave way to this filthy system we're all trapped under today. What is that filthy system? Race mixing. That's it. That's it. <clears throat> and where do you find that in the Bible? The Bible says that we are of one blood, one blood. The Bible's only talking to Israel, and we are Israel, not these blasted Jews. Protocols of the Elders of Zion? Yes. That's one of your favorite books, I'll bet, huh? That's well, not a favorite of mine, but it's certainly revelatory. Okay, so let's talk about theocrat. Exactly what do you mean by quoting Hitler and Jesus side by side? To show they were of the same mind, fighting the same battle with the same enemy. Hitler didn't walk on water. He didn't cleanse the lepers. He didn't open blind eyes, and he didn't raise people from the dead. Okay. But he In fact, the he biggest... sent people by the millions to their death. That's a lie, Bob. It's a lie. No use quoting lies to me because it won't work. Well, how you how, really, honestly? Intellectually, be honest with yourself. Jesus and Hitler? Yes. Come on. Yes. I mean, we, we actually have the, the newsreels of Hitler speaking. We know what he said, and it was vile. It was hateful. It was destructive. And, what did and he not, say not so just hateful. to the Jews, I mean, not just yeah, to. Yeah, I, I, I know all this. What did he say that was so bad? You know, have you ever been to Eastern Europe? Sure. I lived okay. over there for a while. Went okay. to Auschwitz. Okay. And have you talked to people like I have in Ukraine who, when the Nazis came in, they literally scraped the topsoil from the land in boxcars and took it back to Germany because it was the most fertile for growing food. And Man, I, have, I have talked I have talked to people yeah. in Ukraine who yeah. had the midnight knock at the door of the yeah. Nazis who yeah. carted away all the workable men of the village and Garbage. shot the rest of them. Garbage. 
Lies. Well, these, are you telling these people who have spoken to me about what the yeah. Nazis did to their their liars? Yeah, yes, yes, I am. I'm well, calling them that. I'm well, calling well, wait them a minute. liars. Well, what what's their motive for lying about something tra tragic like that? I, I, I've talked to these people and tears streaming down yeah, their sure faces as they I'm talk sure about the the Nazis at the point of a gun crashing yeah. through their front door and dragging yeah. off the young yeah. men to go to work for the Nazi army or in some cases to be conscripted and to kill on behalf of the Nazi army. Yeah, they had, there was an awful lot of volunteers coming out of Ukraine to fight for Germany against the Soviet Union, which is a Jewish creation. Marx, Lenin, Trotsky, and all these Jews that created the Soviet Union and the Ukrainians were only too happy to be liberated by the Christian Germans from that nightmare. You know, there's just and a way that you probably talked to were probably either Jews or con committed communists. You, you know, you just have a, a way in which you say that word Jew. I mean, it, it just, it, it kind of drips with blood off your tongue when you say yes, it. Yes, well, it should, it should. Yeah. Yeah. Read what John in his gospel uh, quoted Jesus as having to say about the Jews. They are, they are the children of their father, the devil. Now, hold on. Yeah. Hold Did on. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, no, 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 no. He was talking to the Pharisees. He was talking to a specific religious class of people who held tradition above the law of love and mercy and grace. And he was condemning the religious hierarchy, not the people in totality. That's bad biblical exegesis to and, and support who your racism. Yes, and who was it that murdered Jesus very soon thereafter? <sighs> Jews. That was the culture in which he lived. He yeah, was the Messiah. The he yeah, was opposing the their culture. belief system. We are talking this about the, the Sanhedrin. Don't you Remember, think, the disciples were Jews as well, and the disciples no, 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 were no, casting out thing, demons Bob, and thing. healing the sick. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's Here's a difference. The They're is, both Jews. This, <clears throat> so, this is, are you hey, saying that the disciples of Jesus were evil? Were they? Certainly not. They okay. were not racial Jews either. This is why Jesus came to throw the separation between a racial Jew and an actual Hebrew or Israelite. And Jesus and his people were Hebrews and Israelites. He threw the racial split, and that's why he was murdered. Why do you say in your book, The Theocrat, it is dedicated to the Sun, capital S, of man, capital M, which is one of the names that Christ took so that it was indicative of his incarnation and in flesh, all right? Why do you dedicate your book to the Son of Man? Are you talking about Jesus Christ, Creator God? I'm talking, about, talking about Manson, of course. Manson, Son of Man. We know now, we knew then, but beyond any question, the man was a true prophet. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold on. It just That, that curveball just hit me out of nowhere. Charles Manson was a prophet, and you're a saying true prophet. so. You're yeah. not talking about Jesus here. You're talking about the murderous, demon possessed, megalomaniac Charlie Manson. Yeah, no, Bob, you fall in line with this media. You know, don't you think the media is dominated by evil? Don't you think that much of don't the media? See, this, this is this is the trick again. This is no, no trick. come on, I'm come on, man. This, this is <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, you like? I, don't I, you think? I, don't I, you think? I, I got a drink world, to this. Yeah, go ahead. Don't don't you think this world is dominated by evil? Hey, don't put me in the position of having to to agree with no, you. I'm just asking a question. I mean, do you think? The of world course is it is. Of course it is. We you live in an evil world. We good or evil? we live in an evil do you world. Like the way what? Do you like the way things are going? <clears throat> See, this is what you buy into. You buy into a bit of truth, and you mix it with a whole bunch of error, but you draw in people who are not that bright in terms of their 
cerebral ability to discern oh, to discern the forked idiots. tongue with they're which you speak. You. Mental defectives. I got it. Sure, that's the old argument. Yeah, there's got to be <clears throat> anybody that doesn't agree with you has got to be a moron. No, I, I did not. It. I didn't say you're not going to put words in my mouth. Okay, next question no, is, Jay, no, have just, you watched the document? Have you watched the documentary David Cole in Auschwitz? I've been to Auschwitz, Bob. I don't need David Cole. All right. Next question from Lynn. Hitler not only killed Jews, he killed Christians that looked like you. What about that? He did. There were a lot of, you know, um, there are a lot of people, Christians included, that are so sold on this superstition of Judeo-Christianity, and it is a superstition, and they act upon that. And when they would act in an anti-national way, uh, they would have to be dealt with. They would have to be taken out of commission. Yes. What about what about Bonhoeffer? I was gonna I was gonna mention Bonhoeffer, and he's a perfect example of that. The man was. I've read his uh, biography. The man was terribly confused, and the tragedy was he acted upon his confusion, and it cost him his life. He was killed by the Nazis. He was killed by the Nazis because he opposed them. Well, he was anti-national. He was a poisonous element, and that could not be tolerated. He was a Christian pastor who he went was a Jude- He was a Judeo who went to his death for his yeah. faith. Yeah, he was a Judeo Christian, and that is a superstition, a poisonous superstition. Yeah, yeah you, you are the old been, uh, okay. afflicting our society for centuries, and it's got to go. You know. You need an exorcism. <laughs> I knew you'd get around to that, Bob. You're gonna, you're gonna give me a cut rate on that one, are you? Uh, absolutely, right now. No. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, Bob. You know, I don't believe in demons or possession or any of that crap. What I do believe in is the flawed nature of the human psyche, which is trapped somewhere between the animal and the godlike, and that leaves a lot of room for terrible trouble, especially when your people are being misled from the top. You know, there you know, you, they, 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 your patron saint should be Charles Darwin. There's just one problem. Oh, that's I his, that's his ethnic believe, identity. <laughs> you better, you better believe it. I admire the hell out of Darwin. We're just animals, right? And, well, and, Hit, and Hitler, that, uh, and Hitler you know, was the top of the food chain. The only the only thing that differentiates us from animals is that we have a destiny, right? And uh, we have a consciousness. And uh, other than that, we're identical to animals in every way, especially where breeding is concerned. And you don't find animals crossbreeding. They got better sense. You haven't seen a bunch of monkeys in the zoo lately, have you? But that's an aside. Well, I don't know about monkeys uh, crossbreeding. Uh, <clears throat> I remember, I remember the old story about uh, Maureen O'Hara, who was the original Jane in the Tarzan series, and on set in Hollywood, she said, "Oh, the monkeys were all a bunch of homosexuals." <laughs> okay, now, 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 now you're going to go off on another tangent. I, I want to bring this around because we only have a few minutes left. So, if I understand this right, Hitler was a really good guy. He was a patriotic nationalist. Six million, not five, not four, not even three, two, or one million people were murdered in the gas chambers by the likes of Goebbels and others. It didn't happen. And the real problem with the world today, according to James Mason, is that we are not staying racially separate. We are not keeping with our kind. Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying, Bob. You got it, man. I'm proud of you. Well, that's an ideology of evil because it's not supportable by scripture. You don't even believe the Bible is the word of God, and you don't of even believe. Do. And you don't. No, you don't. You don't believe there's a devil, and the Bible, supremely above all else, teaches the existence of Lucifer, who, by the way, is 
the leader of your group and the leader of the National I'll Socialists. Da- I'll be damned if he is. I'll be damned if he is. The Bible identifies Satan as being the Jews. Of course I know you would say that. But the devil is a very real being. And he has you in his thrall. He has you no, in no, his no, control. No, no, he doesn't have me. He doesn't have me because, as you started out the program saying, I'm probably the most dangerous man in the world. Uh, <laughs> well, you and are. I say this. You, you, say you this, are dangerous. Paul, I'm not backing away from that. You're a, I think it's evident to anybody who has been listening, you are a dangerous man. Yeah, well, did you? were you aware that the government of Canada back this past summer declared me as being one of the biggest terrorists on earth right up there with ISIS. Did you know that? That's for real. Uh, Yes, I did know that. And I'm not surprised that they did that as liberal left as they are. But I understand if they hear you say what you said tonight, why they would not want good Canadians to be hearing that type of rhetoric. I can't blame them a bit. Yeah, you know, that's interesting, though, Bob. That's thought control. Do you buy into thought control? Can't you decide for yourself what's garbage and what isn't? Which you is, have which have is, these governments tell you what you can which and can't hear? Sir, which is exactly the reason I've had you on tonight. So people yes. can hear from you what you believe, and rational, intelligent people can make up their minds... Yes. As to whether or not they would want to live in your world or whether they would rather live in a world where the rule and reign is the word of God. But it sounds like you're not going to be around for that time that Revelation speaks of. It sounds well, to me close, like Bob. you're not going to be around for any we're heaven close. on earth or anywhere else. Oh, you, we're close, man. You're close. We're close. What do you think about all this uh, COVID crap and all this mandating? What, tell uh, me what okay, you think. Wait a minute. There you, there you go again. See, this is the way you work. You take a bit of angst and concern that people have about the times in which we live, in which there is legitimate concern about government overreach, and you twist it around to make it fit into an ideology that can heartlessly slaughter millions of people because they happen to have a name that's Jewish. But you mentioned government overreach, and that's exactly what it is. It is. It is. You know those few lines out of Revelation where it says, and none will be able to buy or sell unless they have the mark of the beast in their forehead? That's where we are. Wait, wait, wait. How did you... Exactly. But how do you get off picking, cherry picking the pieces of the Bible you want that fit into your picking, abominable ideology and then saying it. the Bible isn't the word of God and that Jesus Christ God. was not the savior of the world? Just simple, simple, James. Is Jesus Christ, the son of God, the savior of the world? Yes. Yes. Saved how? Well, Saved how? How? He gave us the final cycle of civilization, which is now at an end. How are you saved by Jesus then? By political How, by, by action? By the point by of a gun? By alignment with him? By standing forth against the system of Satan? Yes, that's how I'm saved. See, see double speak, double speak. You're as bad as as the far left with doublespeak, because you talk about the system of Satan and you allude to a being you don't even believe exists, but you use the terminology because it connects with people. That's very disingenuous, sir. Come on, you don't even believe in the devil. All right, James. I don't think, do I believe in the devil? Yes, these Jews, these Jews are the devil. They are Satan, they are the adversary, they are the accuser. And they are the people. The Bible tells us who the accuser, the brethren, is. It is Satan, Lucifer, fallen from heaven, who is filled with hate and murder and rage, which is what you, sir, are filled with. Even though you come across, you can come across quite amiable and reasonable at times. 
all the time, all the time. I want to thank AK Precious for the uh, gift of uh, 490 for the, the ministry from Hong Kong. Thank you. Bobby in England, thank you for the gift of $5, Frog $5. And this one, Queasy Dancing, a gift of $10 at the Gabriel 10 Will Planter 499. And uh, I can't pronounce that just such broadcasting that must be somewhere else in the world but thank you so much for helping to support us tonight james we're going to have to go but i just want to remind people this weekend i'm going to be in pasco washington on the fifth if you would come there and let me preach to you i'd buy you a one-way ticket sir but i'm not sure that you'll take me up on the offer also on friday 10 pacific one eastern Ask the Exorcist, a live edition with your chats. Do you have a final word you want to say? Me? Yeah. We'll, we'll do it again in another 30 years, Bob. I hope you're around, because if you don't change, I know where you're going to be. <laughs> I look forward to it. I and I, I suggest do. that we do have another go round at this. All right. We'll see where the world is at. And I ask this largest live internet prayer audience of Warriors for Christ to fix your mind on this man in his face right now because something happened to him somewhere sometime to turn him into this and Jesus loves him and we're going to pray for him. Jesus loves you, James. I realize that. He doesn't like what you say, it. but he loves you. Okay? Thanks for being with me. All right? Good evening. Let's do it again. We will. All right. Now, what's happening right now? Let me see if we can cover the screen, please, for me. Uh, you can text to give and support this ministry. We appreciate what we've been doing here tonight. You can text to give at 833-361-4711, but I want all the people who appreciate this ministry. Don't go anywhere. Stay right there. The followers of James Mason are flooding the chats so the people who would like to give can't give through chats, super chats. So what you need to do is do an end run around that because they're just trying to take over the whole chat is go to our website, boblarson.org, boblarson.org and give. Click on donate or go to 833-361-4711, text to give. Thank you for your prayers, your support, and do pray for James Mason, all right? A week from the night, Alexander Pagani, some of you know who he is, a fiery young pastor evangelist who believes in deliverance and is spreading the word about the power of Christ to set people free. You may have seen him with Isaiah and others. He's going to join me next week. Quite a contrast to what you have heard tonight. And I want to say a word about what you have just listened to. I believe the truth in an open debate, the truth of Christ, his true message, can withstand the test of the fiercest adversary. Because hate never wins over love. It didn't at the cross, and it didn't at the empty tomb. And that's why I'm willing to go into the fire and fight against the things that would destroy lives, people, and nations, and families. The real problem we face in America is not just some of the things this guy cherry picks to make his point, some of which you and I would have a sense of agreement with. But the greater picture of the Spirit of Christ, it's not in this man. We wish it were. We must pray for him. And if you have tuned into this because 
you are a follower of this kind of extreme ideology. Consider, take the Bible, read it. Read the Gospel of John. Put away your prejudices and just let the Scripture speak for itself. He was and is God. He loves you. He died to save you from your sins. There's a very real heaven and a very real hell. I hope James Mason repents, but if he doesn't, I don't want to be where he's going, and you don't either. This is your opportunity because you listen tonight to hear this interchange. But the Holy Spirit has gripped your heart. All you have to do is say, Jesus, if you are the Son of God, I yield my life to you now. Save me from my sins. See you in Pasco this weekend. Keep giving out there. Overcome the evil that's trying to flood our chats. Go to the text to give number 833-361-4711 and share the best possible gift that you can. And thank you so much for watching. Remember, through Jesus Christ, you have eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, a Jew, born of a Jewish couple, born virgin, God incarnate in the flesh, you can have eternal life. And you can get free, stay free, and live free. Your financial support and prayers make it possible freedom to those in spiritual bondage. For the latest information regarding ministry outreaches, go to boblarson.org or call 303-980-15.